Hey, what is going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning in to another video. And today I wanted to show you how to fix error code 43 on Mac computers. Now, as you can see here, I have a file that I've been trying to delete for quite some time. As you can see, I try to move it to the trash and I get that error code. And what I've done was I tried to use the other steps like resetting the NVRAM and I just could not get it to work. So I'm very familiar with this because I've done this before. So I'm going to show you here how to fix it. So in my particular case, I am running Mac OS High Sierra. Everybody's different. But what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download the operating system from the App Store. So as I go to the App Store, on the right side, I, as you can see, it says Mac OS High Sierra. Uh, you just click on that or hit the search bo uh, box and whatever operating system you have, just type it in there. In my particular case, it says open because I've already downloaded the file. But in High Sierra, it's about five gigabytes. And now what I'm going to show you is once you download it, it'll immediately send you to the installation screen. Now, if you're not ready to go to the installation screen or to install it, actually, um, there you just go ahead and quit out of it. And I'm going to show you here. As I go onto the applications icon, it brings me this Mac OS High Sierra since I've already downloaded it. But as you can see right there, it doesn't show uh, exit box. So you just go ahead to file and quit the installation, but you still have it on file. All right, so I have to use this camera because it'll stop recording here. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add an install OS High Sierra. I would suggest if you're doing this to back up. This is something that I'm doing. I'm not responsible for anybody's lost data or anything like that. This is just something that I that I know worked for me. If you want to follow along, you can go ahead and do so. But I am not responsible for your for any errors or any issues uh, that that may come about your way. So this is something that I am doing on my own to fix my issue. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and continue. I went ahead and back, uh, backed it up using Carbon Copy Cloner. Now, if this is the first time you're ever gonna back up, this is a very simple backup tool. I would highly suggest that you go on YouTube to, to look at how to use it. Um, but basically, you're just clicking in this particular case. <clears throat> You're clicking on here. The source is your actual hard drive, what's on this computer. And the destination is going to be, you know, an external hard drive that you have, or even an SD card. It's gonna be a lot slower, but an SD card. I would recommend if you have a lot of data, obviously equal the size of your hard drive on your computer or a lot more. And you're just gonna go ahead and click destination and then you, you should see your hard drive somewhere here. I don't have a hard drive connected to it, but you'll just click that and then you'll go ahead and uh, save this on there. And then one last thing too, some, it has copy some files or copy all files. Obviously you wanna copy all of your files. If you have any issues, it should give you like, a, it should give you some sort of warning before you continue as to what's going on. Sometimes the hard drive is not formatted correctly and it'll just tell you to go to the disk utility and go ahead and format you know, your external hard drive to, to match this. And that's what you wanna do. Whatever this is, APFS or Mac, Mac OS extended journaled, you wanna match that onto your destination hard drive. And then you'll hit clone and it'll take however long it takes. It'll it'll show you on there an estimated time of completion. You can leave any comments down below if you need help on that. And I'll try and see if I can help you uh, back up your data. Now, if you're thinking, oh, you're going to lose all your data. I've done this before and you will not lose your data. It actually just installs a completely fresh copy of High Sierra with all your files attached, which is a great thing. So once you click the hard drive, it's going to ask you to restart. You're going to go ahead and restart the system. And, you know, the power of video editing here shows you that this 20 second clip 
is actually 33 minutes long so that's how long it took mine yours can vary depending on of course your your system all right jumping back in to the laptop here gonna go ahead and sign in and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here uh, everything seems pretty good so far now, let's go ahead and take a look to see if it fixed the issue so this was it right click move to trash and there you go it's fixed now that we got that fixed I do want to mention that you have to reinstall Mac OS for your system now I know it was running Mac OS everything seemed fine up until this point but whenever you back up from a different system it was in my case a very similar system but a year older you want to make sure that the Mac OS is for your particular system and that's what we went ahead and did and in this case it fixed the issue I have no problems I know what to do if ever it comes again I've never had an issue with it coming back that same problem but you already know what to do and if it ever happens again just keep in mind that it'll take more than 30 minutes of your time but I hope you liked this video I hope it helped you out if it did make sure you hit that subscribe button share this video for those who you know need the help and also it helps the channel out but again let me know if you have any questions on the comments down below and I'll catch you in the next one.